Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. We just moved to Austin. A bunch of podcasts are moving to Austin. Um, I find it ironic that we're having you on our show before Joe Rogan is having you on his show. What is going on with Spotify? What is going on with, with, with Joe Rogan and the Spotify deal? Because your episodes have vanished from there. 43 episodes are gone. Two of them are yours. And to my knowledge, they were the biggest episodes of all time on Joe Rogan. Well, what happened is, you know, Joe's actually been, had a house here for a few months and he'd already pretty much moved here. He went back to LA at the end of August and got his uh, family. And so I knew all that. And then but Joe's like, you know, don't talk about it. But then one night he calls me up and he's like, yeah, okay, great. You know, I'm not going to be censored on Spotify. You can tell people, you know, screw YouTube because they censored me and stuff. And I'm like, can I say all this? And he goes, yeah, sure. Well, then I go and say it on the air and it becomes this huge issue. So I go, okay, I, I'm not going to make it political. Let's just pull that back. Uh, Cause you know, they're putting a lot of heat on Joe, which kind of triggered the SJWs to then say, oh no, he's not getting free speech here either. And so what I said that Joe told me w was basically true. Maybe a little hyperbole, like he's declaring war on the censors. He didn't say that, but he was like, F them. They won't have medical doctors on that say they're exaggerating COVID-19. They won't have medical doctors on. We're not saying it's a hoax, uh, you know, who were talking about things that are alternative treatments and things like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's wrong, F that. And I said, oh, and I said, can I say that? I said, yeah. And so then he, it's in his contract that he can quote have Alex Jones or anybody else he wants at Spotify. Mm -hmm. So technically that's true. And so then that happens. And then he finally moves over. The stock goes up a couple billion dollars. All that goes on. They choose the quote transphobic stuff where he's like, look, Kyle Jenner, whatever his name is, still has, still has, you know, the meatloaf in his pants and all this stuff. And he thinks it's a publicity stunt. He's I, I, not think against the I think the medical term is dick and balls. Dick yeah. and balls. <laughs> Am I right about that, guys? Yeah. Any doctors out there? Yep, it's dick and balls. Yeah, we just got a confirmation from And I mean, here's the true thing. I don't care if some dude wants to take hormones and thinks he's a chick. I don't care if the Wachowski brothers want to, mm. Wachowski brothers. I literally don't hate those people. But then I don't, I still can get to make comments and say that it's a publicity stunt. Or, you know, it's crazy to see this old dude being worshipped as the most cool person on earth when I don't think that's the coolest person on earth. I think Neil Armstrong's one of the coolest people on earth. Or mm. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz. Or, or, or Chuck Yeager. We got Yeager. a picture of Buzz. Buzz. Chuck Yeager. Right there, yeah. 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 Yeager. Yeah, got we got Buzz, Buzz, right, Buzz there. right there. Signed Buzz exactly. Aldrin. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, I'm just told, worship this. Sorry, ain't my God. Ain't my God. And, and, and so now they're trying to deplatform him, and this is what's happening. The stuff in the news is accurate about the rebellion at Spotify in New York. Mm. Oh, the, I believe it. Yeah. It's fucking garbage. Where they do the ads and all this stuff, but the technical is in Stockholm. There's not a problem there. But they're actually behind the scenes from people I've talked to actually trying to get Joe off, period. I mean, these, these SJWs will destroy any organization they're part of, and that's why the left... And the Chai Coms want SJWs in the military and want all this, uh, you know, radical race theory that America sucks and George Washington sucks and white people are bad to destroy unit cohesion that no foreign army could do. Jared, just, have you heard about the radical race theory stuff that's going on in the military right now? Do you want to go through that? Because no, you've talked about it recently, so I want to... And, and for the audience, also clarify what an SJW social, is. Social justice warrior. Okay, great, because there's a lot of people that don't know what that is. And they call themselves this. Right. They're, right. they're warriors. Correct. And you laugh at them and go, you got green hair and all this, but... They go wreck companies. They wreck mm. cis. They wreck militaries. They wreck everything. They're, they wreck hospitals. It's mm -hmm. essentially espionage. Like yeah. it's espionage. It's, 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 it's exactly what it is. Yeah. They sow dissension. They run around and talk crap. They say it, it's like communists using unions. Unions were good at a certain point, but then mm -hmm. they became communist tools to take stuff over and wreck it. Mm -hmm. Well, same thing with BLM, though, right? The exactly. idea of BLM makes a lot of sense. Most people agree that yeah, of course, of course black they lives matter. matter. Yeah. yeah. But this organization that's espousing Marxist ideology and trying to attack. The fundamentals of capitalism in America, that's not okay. We're not and they gonna, say, no. we but, wanna, then you, but then you say, fuck BLM, and you're like, oh, you hate black? No, I hate, I hate Marxism, bitch. Well, that's exactly what the what attorney the general said. You're absolutely right. He said, George Soros and powerful money have taken three Marxist black ladies. The whole group's almost white, like 98%, and then they use them as a shield or a prop. Mm -hmm. And then, like, like you said, abolish the U.S. military, abolish the police, abolish the U.S. government. Um, America is an empire and imperialist. Uh, the, abolish the nuclear family. And the most important thing is trans black men. So this is a group saying we represent black men. We don't want you to have families. That's how you destroy any group. And we want your balls. Imagine if alien spaceship landed and said, give us your men, give us your balls, don't have kids anymore. You'd say, <laughs> you're aliens here to get rid of our species. I mean, get rid of capitalism, get rid of your testicles, get rid of your family. Sounds like my enemy. Yeah, and yeah. it's, and it's, it's actually like happening. It's, it is it's, actually happening. We I've, talk about it all the time on, on this show where 
uh, the demasculinization of society or the pussification of society is here. They want us I know all we're taping this, but I'm actually having heart palpitations I never have. <laughs> Lord Vader is in danger. <laughs> Trump has been air back to Chicago. Yeah, he's in danger from the damn treatments, man. He's not been air vaxxed to Chicago. Fake by the news. Way. There was a hope. Oh, fake news. Yeah. Yes. Right. Fake news. I love it. Yeah. Trump, Trump, Trump came on last night. I, I don't think it was. A, it wasn't a hoax so much as it was an opportunity to trick people into looking at dicks. Yes. Because yeah. if yeah. you click the link, it's just okay. a dick. It's a black guy's dick. Yeah. It's a I black didn't know guy's you dick. guys like said that we go live here. No, but but Trump. Uh, actually, now I need alcohol. Uh, yeah, exactly. Hey, go to the liquor store. It's Sunday. Danny, what do you go, need? There's uh, some beers and everything in there. Danny Warsnop's here too. We'll have him on at the end of the show. Jesus uh, Christ. Grab some beers. He's got some right there. Yeah, yeah white help right yourself. Uh, we got some beers. You ever had there. white claw? I've had white claw. Yeah. Not, a, not a fan then? No, when you've had like three cases of it and had that, we're all on the ground like a fish, it kind of ruins it for you. Like at the beach. That's kind of how I live every day of my life. You get your land out, you're like purple. Oh, yeah. You know, stumbling into the beach house, you've had, you know, three cases of white claw. So, my. My, I guess the overall question going back to uh, Joe Rogan is, so these SJWs and everything else, they're controlling Spotify and his content and everything else. What, what, I don't know what, what Joe what's told going you to guys. Ha- you were over at his place last week. He called me when you guys were over there, and I missed the call. But, I mean, Joe told me all this stuff that says you go ahead and tell people and then creates an issue. I, I don't want to get Joe in trouble. Joe, not at all. Look, we're, we're fans of, of Joe Rogan. No, no, I know yeah. you're not trying to. But everybody I, I, loves you as well. I, and we're, we're trying I won't to. I questions about me. It's just with the Joe thing. Let me just put it to you this way. Joe legitimately called me excited like three months ago. He says, I'm closing on the house next week. I'm going to be out there with my family, blah, blah. We got to hang out. You know, really, I'm really excited. I'm sick of YouTube censoring me. I have it in the contract that you specifically can come on anybody else I want, and I don't have to worry about it. I said, that's great, bro. I'm really excited about this. He goes, and I said, what can I talk about? He goes, well, let's you know, write notes. So I wrote notes. I went on air. It became a big national news issue. They were attacking the company stock and stuff because of me mm-hmm. it, it started the employees in the rebellion so that's why i'm trying you know that that went on and so i went okay i exaggerated a little i was just excited which i did exaggerate some and then because i'm like hey joe's gonna take them on and fuck the uh can i say that on here yeah you know, fuck the, <laughs> of course he's like fuck these censors and fuck them right i'm so sick of these comedy clubs i'm so sick of them his big rant was about comedy i'm like 30 minutes it's like man they're censoring all over the country and you know, once I have a comedy club, I'm going to have you up there. They're not going to censor shit. And fuck that lady that blocked you that time, trying to bring you up on stage and stuff. sat behind the scenes. And I'm like, can I talk about it? Said, yeah, yeah, I talk about it. And then they make a big deal about it. They misrepresent it. And so he wasn't lying when he said, those episodes will be back up. They're telling him, oh, it's a glitch. It'll be back up like a month ago. Right. And then it's right. not. He goes, okay, yeah. there's a problem inside. They have a rebellion. Uh, but don't make a big deal about it. Don't say anything. And then once it's in the news, kind of talk, he goes, oh, yeah, I say it. it's even worse than. But then now I'm like not saying what he told me, even though he said I could say it because I don't want to get him in trouble. Yeah. But, but basically what you've seen in the news is accurate, except it's even worse. But finally the CEO stood up and said, fuck you. This is, we have free speech. My God, leave Joe Rogan alone because he gets the more he feeds the Rucker Kipling talked about paying off a pirate. Mm -hmm. And the more you pay them off, the more they want. So you can't pay a pirate off. You can't negotiate with terrorists. And SJWs are foreign-funded, multinational pirates who don't even know what they're doing. They're just running around, stirring up power, getting a little bit of power now because they're helping bring down the country. This is all industrial sabotage, like he said. This is espionage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Winston Churchill said uh, appeasement is feeding the crocodile, hoping he eats you last. Right? (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, And two words to that. Fuck and that. Fuck that. In that order, fuck that. Exactly. <laughs> That's not the American spirit. No, no, no. And, and, and at some point, we've what got made us to take a saying, stand. Fuck you. Yes. yes. Yeah. Fuck you. You want to fucking kill me? Let's go. Yeah. I'm not getting on my goddamn knees, you piece of shit. Yeah. And, and that's Carlos what we need Zapata said more of you know, right now. Yeah, go ahead. That's what we need more of right now. Yeah. Because right now, the, the freedom of speech and the fucking suppression of the press and the media and these goddamn social media outlets like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that shit. They're manipulating everything. Yes. Hey, why don't they start paying everything. some fucking taxes before they get a voice in government? How about that? Yeah. It's all... Because Amazon got a $130 million fucking tax refund last year, paid $0 in federal taxes despite not making but profiting $11 billion. They got $32 billion. Uh, in, in the subsidies, in, yeah. in, in, in the bailout money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, get we. By fucked. the way, we applied for it because it, it, it hit us all this a lot. Where we were not even making any profit. And of course, they're like, "Oh no, you're not organized. We have the right law firm. And everything. Oh, we'll have to get in your books." You, you, uh, by the way, the money's already been spent. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. That's, that's, that's our taxpayer <laughs> right. money. Can't even get it. No. Yeah. Of course. Of course not. And, and you never. Jeff Bezos. Oh, thirty-two billion. <laughs> yeah. You're fine, Jeff. But he owns the Washington Post, so he can, he can say whatever he wants. Thirty-two billion. How, <laughs> Jamie. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Uh, we're working on a Jamie who, uh, right now we have Giorgio, our producer, right. who's extremely overworked. Mm. We, we just moved here, so we're, hey, we're hiring so a So listen producer. to this. In 2019, in 2019 they, Amazon made $280.5 billion yeah. in 2019, and they got a $162 million refund. Yeah. <laughs> or no, 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 I'm sorry. They had a $162 million tax bill. They paid $0 in taxes. Mm -hmm. Now, how is that possible? Yeah, no, Jeff Bezos pays less taxes than I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because if you employ people and it's set up normal, but if you're a globalist, you don't pay taxes. No, not right. at all. But he's the one that supports Black Lives Matter. Yeah. He said, without apology, here's the headline. How much Jeff Bezos gets biggest cut of coronavirus aid money or, or, or bailout package, something like that. Right. I, look, I, I'm not surprised by that, I are you? computer right here. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that, are you? By what exactly? Bezos no, getting all that money, I'm like, dude, this is gonna keep going on. Like, how, you look, we we've I, I say this all the time. I actually said it on mine and Brinkley's show the other day about how I think Walter Cronkite ruined journalism in America. Like, he's a very well respected guy. What he did technically was right by taking a position on Vietnam. He was right to do that technically, but for the country, started editorial for the country, yes. it was wrong. It yeah. was wrong to do that. Other people could have gotten us out of Vietnam. You didn't have to do it. You mustache fuck. Yeah. Now everybody thinks they have to have a fucking political leaning to be a news uh, person. That's not true. You should be, you shouldn't even fucking vote and let, or at least not let people know how you vote. Yeah. If you're a fucking journalist no, ever, like your, your job is to fucking find out what's real and tell everybody else. Cause we're too busy to go find it for ourselves. Your job is to go find the truth and report it. The end. Don't editorialize. Don't analyze. Don't fucking give me your opinion. I don't want to hear any of that shit. And he, a guy that's one of the most respected journalists of all time, fucked it up for everybody. 